So we've now got all the bits we need, hopefully, fingers crossed, to finish the pipe work off. We've ended up going around to a few different places. Uh, I'm going to put some of the links in the description because they've been the cheapest places that I could find for some of the fittings. So as you can see, we've got a vast array of, of parts and pieces. We've got some threaded push fit elbows and some straights. These ones, these 8mm ones, are for the hand injection moulder because we're going to sort the pipe work on that because it's quite messy. That is the elbow for the compressor. And those are the straights that we need for elsewhere. We've got half inch to three quarter inch pieces, elbows, and these are stainless 316. These five here. Uh, they were from BES and really recommend that firm. Amazing. Uh, we've got three quarter inch ball valves which were donated to me. We've got the 22 mil push fit to three quarter inch connectors. Um, weird that you can't get a smaller one because I'd have gone for a half inch, but hey ho. PTFE tape, that's just standard PTFE tape. My understanding is the difference between a white reel and a yellow reel is the yellow reel is thicker tape. So we'll just put more of that one on because the, the yellow one is for gas. We've obviously got the Clark, that's the gauge for it. The Clark from Machine Mart. Um, water trap and oiler which machine mark and then we've got this water trap which I bought on eBay and it's a Nan Poo never heard of the company uh, water trap but these are the same as the water traps at machine mart but a lot less price this was £10 and it was on eBay comes with brackets connectors uh, some screws as well to put the bracket on there. So that's going to go on the post. So we'll uh, get putting it all together and get it all fitted. Right, so we'll start with these. We'll put these onto the valves, the two valves. If you've never done pipe work before, obviously the thread goes this way around. So you want your tape to go in the same direction. So you just take it over. Once you get it lapped over itself, it, it's quite good. It holds. So we're just going to put quite a few turns on. Pull it tight. Now we don't want any to go in there. So I'm not putting any look like glues on or sealants i'm just going to use the ptfe because i've never i've never put any other stuff on before when i've done air pipes put in there that should do it
So this is the compressor end. So we need to wait a minute, push that on there. There we go. That's in. And I've got a small piece of pipe that we're going to put in there. And then I'm going to put a bracket on wall. But for now, we're just going to get it together and then we're going to do some tests for the air, check for leaks. And that's going to go there. So we're going to put a bracket on wall and then this here will then go to the compressor. The swivel to go in here. I'm going to leave this little valve on because I think it's going to, you know, it might be handy. We have to turn uh, anything off. So that can go in there. And the other end can go in there. We might need to shorten that down. I want to get the airline tested and then if there's any modifications I can modify it then. So this one, which is the one with the water trap, and this all this section, that's gonna go on here, like so. Now I'm gonna need to make Using that bracket, I need to weld a plate on here, on this side, for that to go on. But for now, we can isolate that off, and then we can test the main pipe, the main line. And then the big one, with the water trap and the oiler, which is going to feed Old Bluey, which is down here, and the hand injection, which is over there, goes on this, this pipe. Oh. You might have to adjust that bracket. And we'll turn you off. We'll get this plugged in and see what happens. See what leaks we get. We're at six bar at the minute, so we've got to about eight. Now I don't know if you can hear this, but this is the only leak. Is this little ball valve here? The one I left on? Well, I don't think that's bad. The only leak I can see, or well, here, is on the compressor valve, which I thought that was going to be all right, but we'll just order a new, I think it's a half inch, that one. So we'll just order a new half inch valve and put that on, and that'll stop the leak at that end. There doesn't seem to be any leaks anywhere else along the pipe work. And obviously these ball valves are all off, so if I open it, you'll get a, a blast of air, which is good. And this one over here, I think it should be the same. It should be all right. And that one is definitely not leaking, because that valve must be shut on the bottom of the uh, trap. So, all good news so far. I'm uh, quite chuffed. So we'll get... Uh, We'll get that pipe connected there to the machine. We'll test these these joints here, which I think are going to be fine. Uh, and then we've got I've got something we can try in there and see if it's leaking. Right, so we put the ten mil in here. That's it, just like that. We'll run it down there. You see, I'll get some clips and we'll run it down the box. And then this now can go to the machine. I've connected that pipe to the machine and uh, the machine isolator at the back's turned off so it, it won't fill the machine up but it'll pressurise this section when we turn this valve on. It's all a light, I've pressurised the machine up. <laughs> like I can hear the machine, I was like, I can hear a leak. And it's actually the machine weeping. But there's nothing here, no leaks at all. That's fantastic news, isn't it? So one of you kind folk has donated this, which is a retractable airline. I can't thank you enough for 
Uh, apparently it was going to be thrown out at his work. They're having a whole new system put in. And uh, he said, I know a fellow that could, could make use of one of those. So he's donated it to the channel and the workshop. So, you know, thank you very much. I can't believe how many amazing people there are out there. Now, I think it's leaking from this joint here. So I'm just going to tape this joint up and then we'll, uh, we'll give it a try and make sure it's all okay. I think it's going to be. We're going to bolt it to the uh, our drop down leg at the top. So we need to put a couple of holes in and then we'll be able to have air anywhere in the workshop because also we have an extension for it too. So this will reach in the little workshop there and then we've got an extension pipe which will reach in here. So if I need to blow things down like the machines or well anything, anything that needs air. Ah, oh, that means we could get air powered tools. Ooh, possibilities are endless. Hmm, air powered ratchet, air powered torque gun, needle file. Oh, just endless possibilities, isn't there? Blow guns, which is what really we're going to have. Sandblasting. Oh, we could have an air powered sandblasting unit. Finished! How smart is that? We've now got the airline back in the workshop. The compressor moved out of the way so there's no pipes on the floor. No one's going to fall over, trip over, hurt themselves, which is quite dangerous in a workshop, especially with all these machines to bang your head off. As you can see, we've got the hose reel. So we now have the capability to blow machines down and do all sorts of bits and pieces. This will reach all the way around this room and get into the other side. But I have a bit of an extension, which will get us everywhere. Temporarily, I have removed the leaky valve from the compressor. Uh, I'm going to order a new one and fit that later on. All the, all the, all the pipe work now is now bolted back to the, the wall behind it. We've got the water trap and the oiler screwed to the wall and all plumbed in. It's looking a lot better over there now. I just need to get some oil for the oiler. I didn't have any clips in stock to clip the pipe work to the box section so I just ended up putting zip ties on. That shall do for now. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. I'm really pleased how it's turned out. So we're now back up and running with the air with the added bonus of we can uh, use some air powered tools which is quite cool. And all that's left to say is if you've liked what you've seen in the video then please by all means if you haven't already click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release a video. By clicking up here that will take you to the playlist on all the work we've done on the Bridgeport milling machine. And this one down here will take you to the latest season of the steam engine build which you may like. Stay safe. Laters.